Boris Johnson is pouring lots of money into Scotland in a bid to fend off nationalism, but the strategy is set to spectacularly backfire in the Red Wall, a political scientist has told Express. Earlier this year, the Chancellor of the Exchequer Rishi Sunak announced his budget provided an additional £2.4 billion to the devolved administrations in 2021-22 through the Barnett formula, with the Scottish Government getting a £1.2 billion funding boost. The Treasury insisted that individuals and businesses in Scotland also continue to be supported through the coronavirus job retention scheme, self-employment grants, loan schemes and VAT cuts. By tipping hundreds of millions of pounds directly into the pockets of Scottish communities, bypassing the government in Edinburgh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson's government hopes to thwart Scottish independence. Spearheaded by Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack, the funding is expected to go towards community centres, local parks, shared spaces projects and other schemes that make an obvious impact on regenerating a local community. One cabinet minister told The Telegraph, we want people in Scotland to see where the butter comes from. As part of the plans, union flag branding will be used in many of the projects which are funded by the government. The financial support will be funneled through the Community Renewal Fund, which is being replaced in 2022-23 by the UK Shared Prosperity Fund. The latter aims to compensate for the loss of EU funding, but will not be allocated by the Scottish Government, instead, Westminster will use the powers outlined in the UK Internal Market Act to allow it to bypass the devolved administrations. Mr Jack told The Telegraph, Scotland has two governments, and it is absolutely right that the UK Government invests directly in Scotland. We will be working with local authorities, who know their communities well. People in Scotland can expect significant direct UK government investment in their communities in the coming months and years.